Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and this is a story of no good deed going unpunished, where the security guard at the your um, post office, his name is Gregory Hope, he would sometimes give Shane Zico Austin, Shane Zico Austin here is 29 years old, 29, he would sometimes give Mr. Austin money to buy a drink, um, Shane Austin has no place that he calls home. He's like probably homeless. And Mr. Hope would occasionally, when Shane comes around and asks for some money to buy a drink, he would occasionally give him money to buy a drink and, you know, ask Shane to bring back the change. But this particular time, when Gregory Hope gave him the $20 to buy a drink, he never returned with the money. And Hope was looking around for him to get his money. And when he saw Shane, he asked for the money, and as usual, they have excuses. Everyone will have an excuse when they owe you money. Now, people will say it's only $20, but that's $20 that Gregory Hope worked for. It's $20 Gregory Hope worked for, okay? He had to work what? Two hours, maybe an hour to make that money and then to work for free and give it away for free. He didn't work for free. He didn't want to work for free. He does not want to work for free. He doesn't mind being kind here and there, but he wanted his money back. He wanted the change back. But anyhow, it got to the point where when he saw Shane at one occasion, where he didn't actually see Shane, Shane came looking for him, okay? Shane Austin had the audacity to seek out where Gregory was and accuse him of walking around telling people that he owed him money. Okay, you did owe the man money, Shane. You do owe Gregory money. You just wanted him not to say anything. You wanted to get away with it and go and do it to someone else. You did owe him money. Okay, and people need to know who borrow and who don't pay back so they know not to lend to that particular person. But anyhow, he like tried to assault Mr. Hope and Mr. Hope, you know, barely dodged some rocks that he was throwing. But anyhow, it got to the point that it got to court and he was found guilty and he has to compensate the security guard that he assaulted and it hasn't happened. You believe that? Less than $20. Less than $20. He, well, he, well, it was less than $20 when it started. With the court being involved, he had to pay back the security guard hundred dollars so it's five times the amount okay he has to pay back the security guard a hundred dollars or spend some time at the hotel there in st philip and then something else came up that if he didn't do it he would be out 250 dollars it, it, it one thing begets the other one thing always begets the other but this story is about no good deed going unpunished okay he needs to pay mr hope back the money or the Barbados Police Service, you are on notice now that the money has not been repaid and some, he needs to be picked up. He, something needs to be done. You cannot go around having people steal money from people who are working. It's called slavery. You have enslaved that person. When that person worked for money and you took it, that means the person worked for free. And if you work for free, you're a slave. It's simple mathematics, okay? It's simple. If you borrow money from someone, and you don't pay them back, you made that person a slave. That person worked for free because you took their money that they worked for and they didn't have that money to enjoy, to do what they wanted to do with it. Okay, you have made someone a slave, okay? And you worked, well, you said you worked years, centuries to get out of slavery, to get out of it. So you, to put someone back in slavery, you need to watch your ways, watch your ways, watch the things you do watch the way you treat people okay so this guy shane zico austin he has to repay gregory hope that hundred dollars or the barbers police service you are on notice that gregory hope has not received his money and per per court order per court whatever it is that happens there in court in barbados he needs to be picked up okay Shane Austin needs to be picked up. This is Sherry Veronica.